to this episode of Fast Frames Friday. This, in this episode, all I'm doing is I'm taking my um, 2014 art journal and I have a whole bunch of extra pages in the end of that and, and signatures that I haven't even touched yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the signatures from this book and I'm going to use them for other things. I might use them as pages in a junk journal. I might use them for collaging. I might use them for all kinds of different things. The pages are nice and thin so I can use them for collaging if I want to and um, they will go down nice and smooth and easy. So all I'm doing here is I'm trying to color cover them with a little bit of color and I'm taking my color bloom sprays and I'm just spattering on color not really paying attention to where it's going or how heavy it is or or anything like that. This is a a random uh, mishmash of color and I just wanted to to create something that was totally um, non-thinking. So I'm just flipping through the pages adding color and when I feel like I've got enough then I stop and go back to the beginning and add the next layer of color. The nice thing about these color bloom sprays as you watch here is that they are staying as their own color. They're not like a Lindy's or a spray that you would do that's very water-based. Um, they are not mixing, they're not, I'm not getting a muddy brown, I'm getting this nice shimmery collaging of colors and it's it's staying that way and I really like that about these color bloom sprays. This spray I think is an old one and I think the nozzle needs to be cleaned because it's not giving me that nice round heavy spatter of color, it's giving me a line of color. So I think I have to clean that nozzle. But I didn't find any consistency in the, the shape of the sprays for this for the color bloom sprays and that might be some because some are old and some are newer. The ones that are newer are all spraying nice and even in these nice round splotches of color so um, I think that cleaning them every time that you use them and wiping off the tip with a baby wipe or something might be something that you should do. I'll try it next time. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm going to add all different kinds of colors. The only colors that I did not add to these pages are blue and orange. I think I got the purples, the pinks, the reds. Um, I've got greens. I'm eventually going to have yellows. I've got purples. So this is a real, a real mixture of color. And if you watch, like the the green stays green and the purple stays purple and the pink stays pink. There's no, there's no combining of colors in here. And every page is going to be super saturated and every page is going to be super shimmery. And I look forward to using these in all of my projects once I'm, once I'm done with this. And I, I thought that maybe I would finish the pages in this, in this book, but then when I got down to it, it was like, um, kind of my first year of, of journaling that I've shared with people. So I thought I should end that at the end of December and just leave it as a 2014 art journal and just just keep it that way. So here I'm going in and I'm adding yellow and you might not think that that yellow belongs there but once I start using these pages for collaging you'll you'll see that that yellow is kind of what sets things off as we go through as I go through using the pages. If you notice these pages are not sticking together they are um, even once they they went to dry they did not stick together and they are super saturated with color. So it'll be fun to be using these pages later on. See how the color moves once it's dry, which it shouldn't. So what I'm showing you here is that I didn't waste the sprays. So I went off and I cleaned off all the sprays from my workbench and everything with baby wipes. And then this page right here is a gessoed page between the 2014 work and the sprayed pages. And I'm just going to take the saturated baby wipes and rub it all over that page and create a background, another unique background that will stay in this book. Thank you for joining me for Fast Frames Friday.